okay students so in the second part uh, we are actually going to discuss about the how to find out the phase angle error uh, of a pt so in the previous class or in the previous lecture also i had discussed about the what is the ratio error of a pt and how it is being calculated so in this case also the uh, ratio error of uh, sorry the phase angle error of pt also will be calculated by the phasor diagram by the same diagram okay so now uh, previously we had discussed about what is the what will be the actual value of this phasor oa so now uh, what is the phase angle error phase angle error is actually the angle between the vp between this vp and between this reverse nvs between this nvs actually the reverse of this vs so actually if there is no voltage drop if there is no lock no loss then this vc vs then the secondary side voltage and the primary side voltage should be in the same phase there should not be any angle but actually because of the magnetizing component and because of this all these losses we will be having certain loss and we will be having certain angle also and by that cause it has been getting displaced by a certain angle theta that is why we are having the phase of this nvs so this nvs between the nvs and this vp we are having a angle theta and in this case we also find out the value of this theta so now similarly from this angle this triangle o a b what will be the value of this theta so you just find out the value of this tan theta over there so what will be tan theta we know that tan theta is equals to perpendicular by base as this is a 90 degree so this is the perpendicular this is the base so base means this is o a and perpendicular means this is a b this a and this b so already we had find out the value of this o a so we will be computing the value of this o a from the previous class so now in this class we will be only going to discuss about the value of this a b what is the value of this a b okay so listen carefully so now what will you do here actually in this class we will be going to find out the value of this tan theta so the value of tan theta will be equals to a b by o a will be equals to a b by way that is this a b and way we had already told told about this thing so now the value of o a we know actually so we'll be writing this so before that we just find out the value of a b so what will be the value of this a b now again starting from this point also this is the only so now before writing or before finding out the value of a b you just consider one thing that if this is a vector law if this and this direction in the same direction so this will be in the reverse direction so we know this thing so now similar to this this OA will be in this direction AB should be in this direction in that case only the phasor of this VP will be in this direction so we have to find out the value of AB from A to B from A to B okay okay so now going over there so now details so here we just find out this thing so what will happen so we know that this was your actually is rs n so i'm cutting this thing is rs n so this is rs n phasor so you have to go in this direction so along the angle of delta we will be having is rs n cos delta so over there we will be having is rs n sin delta so we have to take the negative of this is rs in sin delta y because you have to go from a to b not b to a if we are going from b to a then we can take the positive of this is rn is rs in sin delta but here we are not doing that we are going from a to b so you have to take minus of is rn is rs in sin delta so now the first point will be a b should be equals to minus is rn sorry rs in sin delta so next part so next part what will be there so at this this has been done so next here what we having in this case we'll be having this is our is excess n this is your is excess n this is is rs n so it will be is excess n so now this is is excess n we have to go in this direction so it will be is excess n cos delta so this is a to b we are going this a to b this direction from a to b so this is from a to b okay so it will be is excess in cos delta so it will be the positive of is excess in cos of delta so hope you are un understanding this fact okay so now after going over this in a similar fashion this is is excess this is iprp this is your iprp so this is angle beta so this is angle beta this was angle beta it was already discussed in the previous classes this was angle beta so this is your um, so along this axis we'll be having what happened we'll be having that is ip rp 
sin delta so we have to go from a to b so we'll be having minus iprp sin delta like the like this factor also so it will be ip this will be ip rp ip rp sin delta minus of ip rp sin delta so then write down again minus of ip rp sin delta okay so now the last part will be so your last part will be about this factor it is ip xp it, it is actually ip and this is xp ip xp okay so this is ip xp so if this is ip xp starting from this point it is equal ip xp 90 degree over there so this is your ip xp cos beta this is angle beta this is beta this is 90 degree this is 90 degree minus beta so this will be your beta so now if this is beta so it will be ip xp cos beta so it will be plus ip xp cos beta it will be plus ip xp cos beta because we are going in the same direction so it will be plus ip xp cos beta and in the denominator section we will be having OA so in the previous class from the previous class we are just writing out the value of this way over there which is equals to your nvs writing same thing that is i is rs in cos of delta plus i is xs in sin of delta plus i p r p cos of beta plus i p x p sin of beta so now is uh, so in this case also we will be considering as the value of this theta is very small so we will be having tan theta is equal it will be more or less equals to theta and which and in this case also the value of theta will be equals to i am writing out this same thing over there so that is will be final equations will be i is by n that is your xp dash cos delta minus rp dash sin beta plus iw xp minus im xp this whole divided by whole divided by n into vs so in this case also in the like the previous class where i had discussed about this thing in this case sorry you have, to, you have to take this this factor considering that is ip cos beta will be equals to i sorry this will actually iw iw i is by n cos delta and this will be ip sin beta equals to im i s by n sin delta so in this case also we considering this thing we are writing out all these factors over there so now this should be coming in radian so whenever you have to convert this thing into degree so you have to do is 180 by pi so this is the value of phase angle error of a potential transformer it is actually the continuation from the previous class if you were watching this video at first so you won't be able to understand anything so it is my request to you that please go through the first video of the potential transformer on the potential transformer there is a ratio that 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 is the finding out the ratio error so after that you can understand this, this thing okay so hope you are understanding this thing so if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section So one thing I just forget to mention that is the, what is this XP dash and what is this RP dash like the previous class. This XP dash is the reactance of the or equivalent reactance of the transformer refer to the primary site and this is the equivalent resistance of the transformer refer to the primary site. And similarly here we will be having IW. In some cases also we will be finding this IW is equals to IE but whatever the fact that is IW and IE actually same okay. IW is equals to IE. In the previous class I may have written something that is IW equals to IE. So IE is the energizing component which is also the working component. So both are actually same. So don't get confused with things because with this thing because both the cases are same.